Now we checked the pin, email, and the under either ID. Now we need to check the site whether the site is available under this user or not. To check, we need to create a table. Name T R double E. Okay. Name. We need an ID, need a user ID, and a column left side and column for right side. Okay, and ID should be integer. Integer user ID will work. User left side will work. <coughs> and in this user ID, we will store email ID. Also, this left side and right side will store email ID. So, work 50, 50, 50 and our id will be auto increment and primary key now we have created which okay don't worry about this we have created our table now when a user will join to our system we have inserted in user pin now we need to also create also insert the information at the at this table so create so insert here where that left and it haven't it have not any user at this side and this side now save now we have only one user in our system so and the user is user at the rate tutorial villa dot com now in this tree in the left set and right side it have no no user okay now we need to check when i will add a user to the left or right side then i will check whether any user its left side or right side is available or not so go ahead and yeah, first we need to get the information from here that is name by side and its value is left and right now we will take the value from here <coughs> we can say side equal to my school a real escape string okay connection okay we have a mistake here we took get so we need to change all these with get Okay, and also here we will write get side. Now we have side, and it should not be empty because user should have at least at least assign that where which side he want to add this user. So we we'll check <coughs> side not equal to empty. Okay we can assign the value here first side equal to empty if a user will select any of the side from here then its value will be stored in this side if he will not select any value then you can check from here that side is not equal to empty now we will be checked here by a function <coughs> so we will create a function okay now copy this function and you can copy okay now we have another mistake here in query equal to write my sqli query here is here is the another mistake you can you can make okay this mistake <coughs> okay query equal to my sqli query now set a stick from where it will select from on this table and let us take from okay the where 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 user id equal to where user id equal to email and we need another parameter called side because we want to check for which side now it will get a result result equal to my school i fetch array okay where my s 
SQLI my SQLI fetch array <coughs> query now we need a value that side value equal to result uh oh result side and this side should be empty and side value equal to empty equal to equal to empty then it will then it will return true otherwise it will false it means if you just select a side left or right that will be taken from here and and it will work like this result side if look any side left or right it will check from here itself left or right side is empty or not if we have selected for the left side then it should be empty otherwise we can't we we and not add a, a user on this, this side so now we have a function called uh, side check okay now from here <laughs> okay you can say pin is pin is okay here we can say email is okay and here we can say under user id is okay now we need to check another parameter like side check and we need under we will pass here under user id and side and from here you can say it is side check if side check is okay it means we have all the now we have all the things is okay otherwise it will show a error that that this side is side is not available uh, the the side you selected is not available okay now we will be check whether all the things are working or not work now another okay for this now okay 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 we can insert a value to our system now we have all the thing we have checked pin email id and under the id and side we have all the check pin email id okay email check now if all the things is okay then it will say um, we can set here a here a, a a flag flag equal to zero now if all the things will be okay then it will change the value of flag to one it means all the things is okay now you can do your work now from now we can hide these things now from here we can hide all these things now support it means now we are here it means all the info information is correct okay now all the information is correct and now we can insert our information in the our mrm side now we will do actually now we will save all the information okay now if <coughs> if flag equal to equal to one it means all the things is okay Wait, 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 wait. Okay. We no need any else condition because we have all the all the else condition we put here. Now query equal to my SQLI query connection. We can insert a value insert into 
where insert into user what email id password mobile insert into user email is a oh, 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 email id password mobile address and account and values email id and we need the password so you can insert form here password or other thing you can do what you want i put here password one three three six for every user password you can change it according to your requirement okay now password next thing is mobile and another one is address another one is account now if all the information is okay it will show us a message it will show us a message and we can say testing success now we can run the our program why first we need to view the pin take a pin where is the error or line 10 Okay. Now press it. Okay. Now paste the pin here. Now email ID like we can say monoregmail.com. You can say any mobile number, address. I said Gurugao account number under user ID where user at the tutorial window. So tutorial villa.com because we have only one user in the system right now and I want to okay oh, mistakenly I mistakenly close all the things. x89 yeah it should be x89 i need to open user id again wait 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 okay now go login now we now join pin um no this okay for this mission to the fifteen gmail dot com mobile number this address is go to account under user id user id tutorial and which side left okay left join now invalid pin it means okay no 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 my square number is except under one two my square we have error on line 74 we have error 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 74 okay this slight have pin required no it should be pin list it was it was my error refresh it now testing success it means all the things is okay now now you can say here now we have uh, user also thank you